Hi, welcome. I'm Robin. Welcome to yoga. This will be a movement practice. If you have um, a couple of blocks, you can grab those, maybe a mat to lie down. And we're going to get started on our backs, not you as usual, just lying here and coming into our breath. But before we do that, with your feet as wide as your mat, goal post your arms and windshield wiper your legs from side to side. Just noticing how you're feeling today. And pausing in any tight areas. And then the next time you go over to the left, pause for a moment, keep the left leg down, lift your right leg, still bent, and make a big circle towards your body, towards your face, and then over to the other side so that it lands as it was in that uh, windshield wiper position, over to the right now. And then we'll switch. Lift it up, draw a big circle in towards your chest and over to the other side. So you're again on the left. Keep alternating. Lubricating through the hip as so you move through internal and external rotation of your hip. And you're welcome to add the arm here too. So as you go to one side and start to draw that circle, take that opposite arm and sweep it or over your head and over to the other side. And then switch. This isn't a yoga pose per se, but a chance to move. Still connecting with your breath and with your mind. So you feel the sensations of your body. One more each side. And then bring the soles of your feet to the mat. Now hip distance apart. Bring your arms down by your sides. Feel your long spine with your neutral pelvis. Press into your feet. Lift your hips up, nice and slow. Low back, middle back. Opening up wide through your collarbones in this bridge pose. Energetically hugging your inner thighs towards the midline, or you can always welcome to use a block in between your thighs. And you can clasp your hands underneath you or you can just keep your hands on your mat. So if you take little lifts of your hips up and down, maybe just an inch or so. Squeezing your glutes, pressing down through your heels. Drawing your low ribs in. Lifting up through your pelvic floor muscles every time you exhale. For five, four, three, two, and one. If your hands are clasped, release the clasp slowly lower down. Good. Take your um, shins vertical, no, 
Take your shins parallel to your mat, your thigh bones vertical. Pull in that low belly. Your hands are down by your sides. You can keep your hands there the whole time. You're going to take some heel drops. Drop your right heel down towards the mat. Hug that low belly in. Lift it back up. Left heel lowers down. Lift it back up. If you want to add, as you drop your right heel down, your left arm over your head, and then back up. Switch, exhale, lower. Inhale, come up. Keep alternating side to side. Really scooping in that low belly. No arch. If it's too much with the arms, keep them down. You can even keep them pressing into your thighs. And if you want a little more here, you can straighten your leg as you take your arm down over your head and then bring it back. Only going as low as you can keep your back nice and safe, pulling in that belly. Working the deep core muscles here. Four more pair. Whichever version you are doing. Three. Two. And one. Good. Then hug your knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side. You can rock over to one side to come up, or you could shift forward and back, forward and back, and come up and make your way to down dog. Planting your hands, walking your feet back. Pressing into your hands, spreading your fingers, shaking out your head. And keep a big bend in your knees here. You can slowly pedal out through your heels. And whatever movement feels good. Maybe bringing one knee in towards the opposite side and a little bit of a twist. And then find some stillness for a moment, pressing the floor away, widening through your sitting bones. Reaching your heels down towards the mat, but they don't have to get there. Pulling your low belly up and in. One more breath. And then look forward to your hands, step or hop forward, take a half lift, and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, big breath. And draw your hands to your heart, pause. Notice how you feel. Maybe set an intention for your practice. Take a deep breath in. And sigh it out. And then blink open your eyes if they're closed. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Hands can be on blocks here. Lengthening the crown of your head away from your body. Drawing your shoulders away from your ears. And breathing. You can have a big bend in your knees here. But find a long spine. Another inhale. And exhale, fold. Plant your hands down. Step back to plank. 
pause, pressing the floor away, head in line with your spine. You can come to your knees here, otherwise your legs are nice and active. Reaching out through your heels. Your collarbones are broad, but your elbows are coming in towards one another, spinning your triceps back towards your feet. Another inhale. Exhale, lower down to your belly. You can come to your knees first. Take your hands by your low ribs so that your wrists are underneath your elbows. Press your toenails down, scoop in your belly, lift your chest, little cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, maybe lift a little bit higher. Exhale, lower. One more inhale, maybe start to straighten your arms. Pull your heart forward, widen through your collarbones. And then tuck your toes, lift your hips, down dog. Big breath in. And big breath out. Again, big breath in. And big breath out. Look forward to your hands, step or hop forward, half lift and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, sweeping your arms up. And then exhale, fold in half again, leading with your heart. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step back to plank. Coming to your knees if you need. Pressing the floor away. You can lower down to your belly again or shift forward with your knees up or down. Lower down, chaturanga, low push up, hugging your elbows in. Inhale into cobra with your thighs down or up dog, opening up wide through your chest. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Again, big breath in. And big breath out. Look forward to your hands, step or hop forward, half lift and fold. If your feet are together, separate your feet about hip distance apart. Grab one of your blocks, if you have a block, place it in between your inner thighs. I'm putting it on the narrowest width. But you can also do the middle width. And then bend your knees. Reach your arms forward or up, chair pose. Weight in your heels, sending your seat back, hugging the block, lifting up through your pelvic floor. Take an inhale, exhale, stand, squeeze the block, lift up, up, up through the center of your body. Again, inhale, chair, exhale, stand. Lengthening your tailbone, pulling your belly in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hug in. Inhale. Exhale. Five more. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, stand, now come to chair, hold, hold, hugging the block, reaching your hips back, you should be able to see your toes, gazing at a point down on the floor in front of you, or straight ahead, or even look up, hugging in, feeling your quads, Little lifts, little lower and lifts. You've got it. Stay with it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Straighten your legs and fold. Shake out through your head. 
Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Remove the block and fold. Hold on to your big toes with the yogi toe grip. Your thumb is holding your big toe like a bottle cap. Inhale for length and exhale, hinge forward. You can have a bend in your knees here, widening through your elbows, reaching them to both sides of the room. Your head is nice and loose here. You're retracting your shoulders away from your ears. As you melt your torso over your thighs. Steady breath. And then inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, take your hands out from under your feet. Place them down. Step back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower to your belly or chaturanga push-up. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Pause here. Breathing, pulling your heart forward, opening up, pulling the low belly in, lifting up out of your pelvis. Another inhale. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up high behind you. On your exhale, draw your right knee in towards your nose. Shift your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, twist. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, step your foot in between your hands, even if you have to help it get there. Plant your back heel down. Inhale, rise up. Torso faces forward, warrior one. Hand shoulder distance or palms together. Right knee over your ankle. Lifting up through the center line. Another inhale. And exhale, hands down, step back, plank, chaturanga or your belly, or you can go right to down dog, cobra or up dog if you're going there, down dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up straight behind you, squaring your hips, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose, shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale it back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, twist. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, step it forward in between your hands. Pause. Plant your right heel down. And inhale, come up. You can keep your hands on your hips or in prayer. Or reach them up. Feeling a nice stretch in the back of the right leg. As you deepen the bend in the left knee. Your gaze is up at your fingers, or if that's too much for your neck, look straight ahead. Another inhale. And exhale, hands down. Step back and flow. Or not. Big breath in, big breath out. Notice how your legs are doing here. Are you still bending your knees? Maybe that is what you need for your body to find that long spine. Or as you're getting warmer, maybe you're noticing that your legs are straightening. If your legs are straight, see if you can engage the fronts of your legs Gently lifting up your kneecaps, feeling your quadricep muscles. You can also see what it feels like to lift up your toes. We'll find more of a stretch in the backs of your legs. And 
and then look forward to your hand step or half forward half lift and fold bend your knees your legs could be together or hip distance chair pose and then stand tall samasthiti all right we're going to do a balanced posture shift your weight into your left leg draw your right knee up towards your chest you can hold on to the shin your left hand could be on your hip or you can grab your big toe maybe straighten your leg pull in your belly you can also fold over this leg if you have that flexibility If you fold it, inhale, lift up. Exhale, open the leg to the right with your leg bent or straight. You can keep your gaze straight forward or you can look over your left shoulder. Uttita Hasta Padangustasana. Standing balance, hand to foot. And inhale, draw your leg back forward, bent or straight, release your foot. If your leg is bent, straighten your leg, maybe just for a moment. Hold for five, four, feel your quad, three, two, and one. Lower down, shake it out, and we'll switch. Weight comes into your right foot. Lift your left knee up, find your balance. Holding on to your knee or your big toe. Your leg could be bent here, standing up nice and tall like Samasthiti, scooping in that belly, lengthening the tailbone. Maybe you're straightening your leg or attempting to straighten it. Maybe you're folding over a straight leg. Wherever you are, that's where you need to be and breathe. If you fold it, inhale, come up. Exhale, open up to the left. Maybe gaze over your right shoulder. The leg could be bent or straight. Finding that external rotation of the hip that we worked on right at the very beginning. And then inhale, come back forward. I'm going to turn towards you. Straighten the leg. Stand up nice and tall. And breathe, not leaning back, lifting up through the crown of your head for four, three, two, and one. Lower the leg down, shake it out. We did awesome work. We've been working on our hips and our hamstrings. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step your left foot way back. Runner's lunge. Start to straighten your right leg and bend. Straighten and bend. One more, straighten and bend, good. Walk both hands on the inside of that right foot. Turn towards the long side of your mat with your feet parallel to one another or a little bit pigeon-toed. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Prasarita Padachanasana. Drawing your shoulders away from your ears, your hands like chaturanga arms, elbows in your head reaching down towards the mat or to a block. Rooting down through your feet, lifting up through your sitting bones. And if it's too much to have your legs straight, you can bend your knees or bend and straighten. And 
then inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, take your hands to your hips. Inhale, rise all the way up. Turn your right leg so that your front heel is lined up to the arch of your back foot and bend your right knee. Warrior two, extend out your arms, soften through your shoulders. Keep opening up through that right hip as you anchor through that left leg, pinky side edge of the foot. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, maybe look up at your hand, and then bring your hands down to the mat. Lift up your back heel, your back in that runner's lunge, lower that left knee to the mat. Grab your blocks if you have them on any height and shift your hips back, start to straighten that right leg. Notice how you feel and keep your foot planted down, plantar flexion, or you can lift your heel up. You can scooch your back leg back to come into more of a split position, or you can stay in the half. Find your edge and breathe. This is my edge. If you're able to go all the way down, maybe lift up, lifting up your chest, reaching your arms over your head. Drawing your right hip crease back, trying to square your hips, pressing into your right heel, and then slowly start to make your way out. Nice and slow. Find your way back down dog. You could take a vinyasa. You could take cat cow. You can just go right to down dog. Notice how you feel in your legs and your hips. Maybe one side, your right side, feels a little bit longer. And now we'll do the other side. Inhale, lift left knee in towards your chest and step it in between your hands. Pause here in your runner's lunge. Search to straighten your left leg and bend. Straighten and bend. Drawing that left hip crease back, straighten and bend. Then walk your hands on the inside of that left foot. You start to spin to the right. You can take your feet back so that your heels are lined up to the, to the edge of your mat. Inhale for length, exhale fold again. Maybe finding that you're getting a little bit deeper, maybe taking another variation. You can grab your big toes like we did in Padangustasana, widening your elbows, your wrists nice and neutral. Or if you have an inversion practice, you can take a headstand here if you want to. I have an inversion practice, but I want to stay right here. Slow and steady breaths. One more breath here. Then inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, take your hands to your hips. Inhale, rise all the way up. Turn your left leg out, heel to arch alignment. Bend your left knee, warrior two. Softening through your shoulders, gazing over your left fingers. Opening up through that left hip.
spiraling this right thigh in, internal rotation. Not sinking down, but lifting up through your pelvis. And then flip your left palm, inhale, reverse, maybe look up. And then hands down to the mat. Lift up your back heel, just like we did before. And lower that right knee to the mat. If you scooched over on your, um, your feet over, so adjust the distance so that you have a nice stance here. And then maybe with your blocks or not, start to send your hips back. Start to straighten that left leg. You could stay right here, reaching your heart forward, getting a little concave here, the back of the heart. You can also lift your heel, your toes up, dorsiflex, and see how that feels for your hamstring muscles. And the leg does not have to be straight. You can keep a bend there. And if you want to go deeper, you can walk that back foot back. Not that, so that you're not on the knee, but just gently in front. Your toes can be tucked or untucked. Can you find your edge squaring your hips? Lengthening your spine. Feeling a nice even stretch in the body not forcing it, no pain. Two more breaths. One more. And then slowly make your way out. Coming to plank. Going right to down dog or lowering down chaturanga or your belly. Cobra or up dog. And then down dog. Two breaths here. Widening through your sitting bones. And then look forward to your hands and come to your knees or cross your ankles or slide your body through. Lie down on your back. You can take the blocks with you if you would like. We're going to take a twist. Hug your right knee into your chest. Extend your left leg long. And you're going to take your right leg across your body. You can have it come to a block. Extend your right arm out. Maybe look over your right shoulder. Or you can do this without the block. You can have your leg hover, or maybe it touches down. Feel the twist in your spine, melting your shoulders on the mat. And inhale, come back to center. Hug both knees into your chest and switch. Extend your right leg long. And then take your left leg across your body, maybe to the block. Extending your left arm, maybe looking over your, le over your left shoulder. And if it's too much to have your bottom leg straight, you could have both knees bent here. If it's not enough, you can straighten the top leg. See what is possible for your body as you start to wind down and feel yourself melt into the mat. We 
releasing as much tension from your eyes, your mouth, your jaw, your neck, shoulders. As much tension as you can, let it go. And inhale, come back to center, both knees into your chest. You could take happy baby, you can lift both legs up in a legs up the wall kind of pose. You can slide the block underneath your pelvis and lift up. How do you want to end your practice? What do you need? Be the next five breaths or so to finish up your practice. And for the final resting pose of Shavasana. And then whenever you are ready, you can extend your legs long. You can take your blocks and place them underneath your knees or underneath your shins. You can rock your head side to side, drawing your shoulders away from your ears. Release control of your breath and just melt. Quiet mind, quiet body. You can stay here as long as you need. You can press pause. Otherwise, you can bring in to bring small circles or flexing and pointing of your ankles and your wrists. Maybe you reach your arms over your head. And then draw your knees into your chest, being careful of any props that you've been using. And roll to one side, a moment of pause to reflect to see how the movement helps your state of being to connect back to your intention. And slowly press yourself up to a comfortable seat. You can sit cross-legged, you can sit on a block, extend your legs. Root your sitting bones down, lift up through the crown of your head, reach your arms up, lower your right arm down, take a side bend, sweep through center, side bend. Come back up to center, let's go to the left, press your left hand down, side bend. Sweep through center, side bend. And then come back up through center, look up, maybe wiggle your hands. And draw your hands down to your heart. And close your eyes or keep them soft. A moment of gratitude as you feel your 
beating heart. You feel your breath and your whole body. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here today. Let me know in the comments how you like the class. Uh, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, check in, and I hope to see you for the next class.